Happening today, our parent company, Nexstar, celebrating its 26th birthday. Every year, the crew here at KRK and our sister station, Fox 16, go out into the community, lending a hand to the nonprofits who do so much to keep Little Rock up and running. Jessica Rank joins us live from one of the nonprofits we volunteered at today, the Little Rock Animal Village. And Jessica, a busy day, but definitely an important one. Absolutely. Yeah, definitely, Bob and Laura. Now, the crew here says that they're so slowly but surely getting back to normal after the pandemic and when they had to cut all of those volunteers. But today, we certainly helped them with a few things. Now, I want to go ahead and pull a video that we shot today of the Little Rock Animal Village. These animals got a little extra love from our crew who played with them and, of course, took them out for walks. Now, this was all before it got too hot outside for those dogs. The Little Rock Animal Village, like most shelters in Central Arkansas, Arkansas is overcrowded. Staff says every kennel is full and some have multiple dogs in them. Now they're currently looking for adoptions, but the Little Rock Animal Village also says they're in need of fosters, people who can take dogs and cats for a couple weeks and get them acclimated to home life. It really helps make the animal more adoptable. You learn so much more about them when they're in a foster home and spending time in a real home setting as opposed to in a shelter environment, which is a very strange environment and not at all like a home. <coughs> Now, Rob says she believes fostering will be the key to getting more animals adopted out. Now, of course, if you want to look into adoptions or even the fostering program here at the Little Rock Animal Village, you can do so. We posted a link on our website, krk.com, and you're certainly going to want to adopt some of those animals. They are all so cute, and I had way too much fun today. But Bob and Laura will go ahead and send things on back to you.